I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and this is the infamous boat ride to Lamini Ruins. Whether you're headed to Lamini Ruins for a day trip or Lamini Outpost Lodge for a few nights, getting there is half the fun. It takes two legs to get to your destination. The first leg is by car, and it's about an hour drive from the Belize City Airport. Your driver will drop you off at Tower Hill Bridge, where you'll board a boat and a spectacular hour-long boat ride up the river. The most exciting leg now, it's the hour and 15 minute boat ride, hour and 15 minute boat ride to Lamini. So this is Eduardo, this is Herbie, and these are the guys taking great care of me. <laughs> My guide Eduardo made it so much fun. It was in and out and through little curves and turns. You never knew what was around the corner. It was like an hour and 15 minute roller coaster ride. Be prepared for anything, it's starting to rain. This beautiful river called the New River snakes through Northern Belize and it is teeming with wildlife. We didn't see a manatee, but we did see a few crocs and tons of birds. Not only did we see some crocs and beautiful birds, we did stop at the Mennonite community and we saw some fishermen along the way. After 26 miles, you end up at a beautiful lagoon. To the right, you see Lamini Ruins. Good morning again. It is nine o'clock and I am off to the Lamini Ruins. The ruins are unique because they're built along the banks of the river. There's three temples that have been excavated, the Mass Temple, the Jaguar Temple, and the High Temple. You can also see a ball court and a few other outlying buildings. You can climb to the top of all three temples. Mission accomplished. I climbed all three temples at Lamini Mayan ruins. But the most spectacular views are at the top of the High Temple, which is over 33 meters high or over 110 feet. The views, you can see Mexico and Guatemala from the top, but I promise you that climb is not for the scared or the meek and mild. Climbing these things, you're basically on your hands and knees. I'm 5'11", and the steps are really, really tall for me. I've been lucky enough to see many ruins throughout the world on my travels, but what I loved about Lamini was no one was there. You feel like you're the only one at the Lamini ruins. There are probably 30 people here today in acres and acres of ruins. I think I only saw three or four groups of people the day I was there, but what I can tell you is the place is teeming with wildlife. I saw howler monkeys, tarantulas, egrets, I saw a toucan, all kinds of birds. A couple of things to know before you go. It's the middle of the jungle. No matter what time of the year you go, it's gonna be hot. Make sure to get there early enough that you do most of your climbing and your trekking before it gets too hot and too humid. What you wanna pack in your day pack, you want definitely tons of water, bug spray, sunscreen, possibly bring a hat and a snack. So we're at the final temple, the Jaguar Temple, and it is the most beautiful view. Green lawn, just unbelievable. The views are great. The lagoon, the plains, it's just mind boggling. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and thanks so much for joining me on this tour of Lamb and I Mayan Ruins. If you'd like to join the tribe and get some exclusive content not seen on YouTube, Make sure to go to the description below and sign up at the link, join the tribe.